Comical Beatdown. I want to bring up uh, a good friend of mine, literally a good friend of mine. Uh, you ready, Oak? Give it up for the comedy stylings of Oakland Seligson. Thank you very much for that warm welcome. Shout out to Mighty Flipside. Like, uh, I was in the supermarket, and uh, I turn up in the supermarket. <laughs> I'm in the supermarket, I turn up. Cause I'm broke. So uh, like that's what I get when I'm in the supermarket. I get turn ups. <laughs> like uh, I'm struggling right now. I'm trying to save money anywhere I can. So I know the winter's hitting. I keep my house really cold. I don't turn the heat up. And I even tried uh, listening to NPR, and I found out that you can save money by turning down your water heater. So I turned down my water heater to warm. Then when I went into the shower the next time, I was like, man, I need to turn up. <laughs> I was in the shower like, yo, I need to turn up. For real, I got out that shower real quick. I went down to the basement. I was like, man, turn down for what? <laughs> so I turned my water heater up. I was like, turn down for what? <laughs> All right, y'all. That shit was mad stupid. I want to tell y'all, like, uh, I've been a comic, a com comic for a while now. It's like going on 2014, so I'm like five years now, so I should be famous. So it's my own damn fault, <laughs> you understand? <laughs> but when I started comedy, like, the Octo Mom was like my inspiration. <laughs> Cause I was like, that was like my first joke. I was like, I looked at the Octo Mom, she had 14 kids with no dick. I was like, she violating. <laughs> she violating penal code. I was like, she violating that. I was like, what that penal code she violating? Because I wanted to be a judge. I wanted to sentence her. <laughs> Man, I wanted to sentence her. I wanted to be a judge. I wanted to fucking go to law school. So, like, I was thinking if I was a judge, I would sentence that fucking Octo Mom. I'll be on the fucking stand like Octo Mom. You understand? <laughs> <laughs> I sentenced you to 1,000 slaps in the face with dick. <laughs> <laughs> That bitch violated Pinal Code 2.14, and you did that shit excessively. So not only we gonna slap you with 1,000 1, lashes of dick, we gonna stick dick in the nose, dick in the ear, dick between the toes. Yeah, that was my shit. Yeah, so. Uh, So yeah, now my comedy is more like uh, what I see, what I do, what I know. So uh, like really what a comic really needs is like a five minute set. So I really like, I, I need to get my five minute set down. <laughs> I'm working on this shit right now. I'm trying to get my five minute set. Like, you know, like I, sh I gave y'all my best shit that turned down for what? <laughs> that shit gonna be in my five minute set. <laughs> But, uh, yo, like, when I first started comedy, like, in 2009, like, a lot of the shit I did on the internet was detrimental because, like, I would share that shit on Facebook. And you know Facebook is the wrong place to share your fucking comedy because, you know, your mama on Facebook, <laughs> your brother on Facebook, your sister on Facebook. And, like, my first joke on Facebook, like, like, everybody was – like talking in my family, like it was like they thought I was Don Lemon, you know what I'm saying, on CNN. You know what I'm saying? They thought I just revealed something in my comedy. But really, like what motivated me in comedy was the recession. And I noticed that motherfuckers was getting foreclosed on. You understand? And I'm like, you bought that fucking house and now you can't pay for it? You could have did something. You know? Motherfuckers getting foreclosed on. You understand? Know could have did something. And my first joke was, man, I ain't, I'm never going to get foreclosed on. Man, because I'm never going to, I mean, man, because I will suck dick before I get foreclosed <laughs> on. <laughs> I'm like, these motherfuckers in suburbs, these motherfuckers getting foreclosed on, they could have sucked dick if they really wanted that house, man. There's fucking dividends in this fucking dick, man. But that's why, like, next thing you know, like, everyone gets on the phone and everyone in my family thinks I'm fucking gay. They'd be like, Oakland is sucking dick. I'm like, yo, 
is deeper than the fucking rat. <laughs> you know what I'm <laughs> Like, I just want to say, like, uh, what the fuck I look like Don Lemon fucking revealing my fucking sexuality on there. You know what I'm saying? I'm straight like 915, know what I mean? <laughs> Yo, I just want to thank you very much for your time, you guys. So, I, Oakland is a really good friend of mine. I love his comedy. And uh, how would you describe your style of comedy? Because I don't even know what to tell people. Like, uh, I picked a few words for you to describe my comedy. Like, the first word, iconic. I don't even know if that's a word. I think it's supposed to be ironic, but I make that shit iconic. Because I, yeah, I like, because you'll meet Oakland, you'll see him do stand up, and people, the number one question is, is he really like that? And like, yeah, he's really yeah. like that, like all the time. You know how to dig, you feel me? You all so smooth. Where you get that smooth thing from? It's just all like an act, you know, like, <laughs> <laughs> really, like, they, all these comedies, Comedians want to be actors. They be like the writers, actors, comedians. You know okay. what I'm saying? So. so how did you realize, when did you first realize that you were funny? I was working in a restaurant called D'Angelo's. Okay. And I packaged up the to-go food, and I didn't use a paper bag. <laughs> and I was like, I'm saving trees. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And that was your start. That was my good. first joke. Because, like, the customer told me I had good timing. <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah. So, so, oh, you know what's an interesting thing? Do you remember the first time we not met, but the first time like hung out, it was in a Kinko's. Remember, you used to work at Kinko's? Yeah. And I was like doing flyers. First of all, I hate Kinko's. This is not an advertisement. I hate them. But he worked there and he gave me like the, the manager card. And I was just like, I was like for free, just putting up flyers in the cards. Do you remember the that? The green card. <laughs> So whatever yeah. happened to Kinko's, man? Why'd you just you just left your dream alone? Well, first of all, FedEx merged with them. Oh, yeah, that was that long ago? Yeah, wow. FedEx merged with them, and then it was all downhill from there. Okay. I so, got fired. <laughs> <laughs> so when did when did uh, when when did you start doing? Were you doing stand up then? No, nah, like I didn't really stuff? I didn't really start stand up then. Actually, like it was sort of like. I started stand up like in 2005 real quick, but then I quit. And then I got a job. The reason why I quit is because I got a job. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But then I lost my job again, and then I started comedy again. So whenever I lose a job, I start comedy. <laughs> so you're not working currently? Well, right now, like, I'm still working, but it's under the table. Okay, you know no doubt. You were a DJ for a bit, too. You were advertised as the best wedding DJ in Philly. I remember, yeah, and like, that was like a serious claim. You were like, yeah, and I, about. yeah, that was bad marketing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because you would advertise in like a urinal. I remember that. Yeah, because I like I was like Cosmic Kev. Like I was listening to Cosmic Kev on Power Nine Nine. So I was like, he was Philly's number one DJ. So I was like, I'm Philly's number one wedding DJ. <laughs> that is out of control. Yeah. So, so I've always been a DJ. Like I still am a DJ. Okay, what do you you still DJ out anywhere? Like I'm trying to get a job with like these bar mitzvah companies, but they a ain't bar hiring. mitzvah company. Yeah, these companies. I'm trying to do bar mitzvahs. Yeah, you know, I'm trying okay. to get that bar mitzvah paper. I forget as a bar mitzvah the, the boy right? A bar or mitzvah. yeah, or weddings, you know, all that stuff. So that's dope. That's dope. I I'd like to know as far as putting material out. Do you put? Did you you had a DVD or something that you were working on? You said. Yes, yeah, it's, it's out right now on the internet. The DVD is out on the internet. Yeah. So I can buy the in, the DVD on the internet. Well, the DVD is is coming on DVD soon. Oh, okay. It's not the on video. The DVD. It's not on the DVD yet. Okay, okay. okay. It's on the Vimo. Vimo. Vimeo. 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 Oh, Vimeo. Oh. All right, all right. So how can we look that up? Just O A K. Just Oak. Yeah, and no last. Cause name. I got on that Vimeo when it just started out, when it was just like just starting out. I got on it cause I didn't really like the YouTube layout. You know what I'm saying? I'm not into that. Mm. I don't like the way the YouTube looks. Is there a benefit toward Vimeo over YouTube? I just like the way the Vimeo layout looks. Mm. I guess it is a little sleeker. I guess. What? So 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 D my DVD's called "That's My Time." Okay. Because that's my like time. yeah, like that's basically like how I started. It was my time. I like that. <laughs> I like that. So, is there any talk? We're in here at Brewery Town Beats. They specialize in records, cassettes, 45. Is there any comedy records that you have uh, that you love that stood up to, against the test of time? I don't really listen to no comedy records. Okay. <laughs> Do you have 
any comedy music that you or tapes or do you like, listen? Do you like comedy at all other than yourself? Like I, I listen to Cat Williams. Okay. Like I thought when I saw Cat Williams talk about like regular weed, I, I could really relate to that. <laughs> So like I could say like when Cat Williams was talking about insurgents, like I could really I mm. thought like that's like a really cool comic. So I thought mm. I think I emulated Cat Williams early on. Right. I think Cat is like I, I always said this, he reminds me of a motivational speaker in a lot of ways. Yeah. A lot of his bits are not like belly funny, they're just like you're in, energized most of the time and you're laughing. And I, that's a good And the whole thing is like he talked bad about Michael Jackson in one of his like HBO specials, and right. it's like you're gonna be in a black audience talk bad about Michael Jackson. You gotta have a lot of like, you know, I mean, you gotta be able. To... I never thought it was that deep, but yeah. everybody everybody takes shots at Michael Jackson. Nah, you can't take shots at Michael Jackson. Well, Eddie Murphy, everybody did. Nah. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that kid was old enough. You right. know what I'm <laughs> All right. Oh, so I just want to know how can people get in contact with you? How can they see you? How can they be down with you? You could just be down with me on the internet right now, and like. Uh, What's the website? Just like uh, check me out. You know, check out my DVD. That's my time. And then pretty soon it's gonna be on DVD. Okay. <laughs> and then, and then I'll be able to hand it out on DVD. So is there a website or a Twitter or Facebook? Yeah, like I'm on that Twitter, that Facebook. I this got my own website too, that HTML. I, well, I'm trying to make it clear. Can you tell us the URL and tell us what the tweet is so we can well, tweet Well, like, my you. name, Oakland Seligson, is like really like, it's too much weight to it. Like, Oakland Seligson, you know what I mean? <laughs> I was thinking of changing my name to Dylan. <laughs> <laughs> just Dylan, no first name, last name. Nah, it's just okay. like, because my first, like, I'm a DJ, so DJ Oakland. So you can. DJ like, Oakland, you Google yeah. DJ Oakland. Or Oakland Seligson. Okay. Like, Seligson's hard to spell. It is. Actually. So I was thinking like That's DJ the only thing Oakland. I spelled right in the flyer, yeah. too, which is kind of interesting. Oakland, thanks a lot for hanging out, brother. Good to see you.